A lot has gone down since Hannah put out her diss track against Preston and Kira. You heard about that, right? So much has happened since the diss track, the OK Baby YouTube channel is gone. Hannah Hawker's YouTube channel is gone. Oscar is using his kids and sponsored content. Hannah made a donation to pay it forward to another GoFundMe. And Oscar's girlfriend, Addie, is slowly becoming an influencer. People started leaving comments on my video about Hannah's diss track saying Kira, Preston, and Qua were making donations to Hannah's GoFundMe. $5 donation, so not much at all. Here's a screenshot of Preston Smith's donation of $5 towards Hannah's GoFundMe. Whoever made this donation wrote, I should have said this a long time ago. I am very sorry. It was never you. It was me. I pray you find healing and happiness. You deserve all the best in this world. Raise your hand if you really think Preston wrote that and made a $5 donation to Hannah's GoFundMe. I don't think it's Preston. I don't think he wrote this message. When you make a donation on GoFundMe, you don't have to use your real name. They don't verify your name or anything like that. You can use Preston Smith, YouTuber headlines, whatever, as your username. The last time I checked, her GoFundMe had $3,000, and Hannah was initially just trying to raise $400. I think she knew she would get more than $400 because she did say, if I raise more than $400, the rest will go towards debt. It seems like she already thought about what she would do with the money if she raised more than the $400. So I think she knew she would get more than $400. So Hannah posted this on Instagram. Wow, the outpouring of support and response has been truly overwhelming. I didn't anticipate reaching my goal, let alone surpassing it. Your generosity has touched me deeply. I will be sharing updates on the cover-up tattoos when I have time. At midnight tonight, I will be closing the GoFundMe and removing the poem from TikTok, bringing this chapter to a close. Additionally, as a token of my gratitude, I will be donating a portion of the funds to a charity of my choosing. I am inspired and excited for us all to move forward. Thank you. This is Hannah's TikTok account. As you can see, the video is gone and I can't even find her YouTube channel anymore. I think she just completely deleted or made her channel private. Hannah also posted this to Instagram, letting everybody know where she was going to be donating a portion of the GoFundMe money to. I just wanted to update everyone on where I'm going to be donating a portion of the GoFundMe to. I would like to pay it forward to a family who recently faced a tragedy involving their four-year-old son. Reading Tavi's story broke my heart. I hope this helps spread the word so his family can reach their goal. Thanks again for your generosity and support. Love, Hannah. I did find the GoFundMe that Hannah donated to. It reads, a four-year-old was struck by a car on Thursday, June 6, while running across the street to the park. The car was going 25 to 35 miles an hour. His injuries are severe, and he was life flighted to the pediatric intensive care unit. He has various injuries, but the biggest concern is his head injury. They're trying to raise $35,000, and currently they're at $29,295, and Hannah donated $400. On the OK Baby YouTube channel, everything is gone. All the videos are gone. I'm sure they made everything private. I don't think they would go in and delete everything. Kira's channel is linked, and Oscar's channel is linked as well. Kira's channel is still up and running. She just posted a video. This trip went bad. I'm never doing this again. She has 25,000 views on that video. And Oscar's channel is still up too. He just posted a video about his new house. They did leave a post or two up on their community tab. I don't know why. Maybe they'll go in and delete that. But this post is from five years ago. So nothing important. I can't remember if the comments were on on the OK Baby channel. I can't remember. Kira has her comments off. Oscar has his comments on. If the comments were on on the OK Baby channel, I'm sure they got flooded with comments about Hannah's diss track. That could be one reason they decided to take the videos off social media. Honestly, they should have taken those videos off a while ago because a lot of those videos, pretty much all of those videos are their kids being exploited on the internet. During a subscriber live on Instagram, Kira did explain why they got rid of the OK Baby videos. You guys already seen those pictures, like I'll just leave them up. But I feel like when I was thinking about it, like people can still, new people can still go find, 
can go and still find, geez, that content. So it's been over a year, huh? Okay, I told you I'm gonna be there to talk to you in a second. This is what frustrates me when you keep coming out. I know, I'll be right there. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do. If you can think of something, let me know. Do you want an ice pack? Okay, I'll get it. Okay. Do you want the rolly one, or? Do I have the rolly one still? Well, I don't know what's going on with the chicken nuggets. I swear I saw the rolly one earlier. Well, it's just like, I swear I saw it. I probably took it downstairs. Um, okay, I don't have it right now, so use that one. Sorry, no. Do you want a paper towel so it's not too cold? Yeah. So anyways, I finally ended up taking all the stuff off of my Instagram, and then we privated our YouTube channel, and you don't need it so now, like, the kids are not out there at all, and I feel very comfortable with it that way. I also want to do it with our baby. And also just like the internet has changed for one, obviously people are way more comfortable hating and there's like a whole hate side of the internet way more than there was then. Although I will say the first couple hundred comments we ever got on YouTube back when Oscar and I started were hate comments. So it's always been a thing. Like it was way worse or it's way worse now. And then obviously with like the passion, the passionate haters that I have is quite remarkable. Who are passionate. They are. Like, I really wonder if some of these people, how many hours they dedicate to it. But anyways, um, I don't want, it's one thing when like we get comments as a couple, like I feel like we're used to that, whatever. It's not anything new, <laughs> but I would never want our baby to go on and see those comments. You know, like that would make me sad. Even the kids, like, you know, they, especially Levi, like he, comes across these things. And I feel like we have a very open communication, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, he'll ask questions and, um, you know, we have conversations. And so that helps, but still, like, it's hard. Kira monitors her comments on Instagram. A lot of times she just turns her comments off on Instagram too. But I heard that she's blocking people and deleting comments left and right. But I did find a few comments that were left on her Instagram posts. They haven't been deleted yet. A viewer said, any chance you will address what's going on? Do you still agree that home wreckers deserve all the slut shaming, Miss Sophie? And of course, Kira didn't respond. I wouldn't expect her to respond in a comment. I think it might take her some time, but I think she will respond because I just can't see her letting Hannah have the last word. You know, it might take her, I don't know, a month two months. I don't know how much time, but I think Kira will respond to this in some way, shape, or form. I just can't see her letting Hannah have the last word. And Kira is really trying to capitalize off this drama right now as well, because as soon as the diss track went up, Kira started posting content. She posted a YouTube video. She's been active on Instagram a lot more. So she's trying to get the views too. When the drama is brought up again, everybody gets a lot of views. Even Karen from KK and Baby J did a Q&A over on Instagram. And of course, everybody was excited thinking Karen was going to spill some tea or give her opinion about the diss track or talk about the diss track. But no, she didn't. She answered boring questions. She gave no information on anything. She didn't share her opinion on the diss track. She didn't mention it at all. And I think the timing of Karen's Q&A is right on time. You know, she wants some engagement too. And people are flooding her DMs as well, as well as Qua and Oscar and Addy. Everybody's being flooded right now with questions and comments, but no one is speaking out yet. I have to show you this picture Kira shared with her subscribers over on Instagram. Kira wrote, Hi, miss you guys. I got sunburnt like a dummy. I did wear sunscreen, just not enough. And I've been dead in bed since. Is she trying to send out nude pictures because she does look naked in this picture? Is she trying to appeal to people that have pregnancy fetishes? Is she trying to appeal to people who love to see a pregnant woman naked? What is she trying to do here? So for those of you that pay for her subscription, <laughs> who knew you would get nude photos as well? Semi-nude photos. 
Addie's social media platform grew. As soon as Oscar announced her as his girlfriend, she got a large following out of it, and her stories are starting to look more and more like influencer stories. She's linking products, she's sharing things that she loves, but she's not following the FTC guideline. I've seen a lot of links on her stories, and she never mentions if it's an affiliate link or if it's an ad. Here is one example I just pulled from her stories a few minutes ago. She did make a post for Psycho Bunny on her Instagram feed, and she did use hashtag ad on her post, but she's supposed to disclose in her stories as well. But I think it's interesting that Oscar has decided not to show his kids' faces on social media anymore, but he still uses them in sponsorships. He's not showing their face, but they're still having to wear the clothes, sit on the blanket, face mom and dad. You know, like they're still doing all the things. They're still working, right? So I hope they're getting a cut of this sponsorship. He's just not showing their face. So what do you think about that? Do you think it's still exploitation to use your kids in content, to use them in sponsored content, but just not show their face? I think Oscar and Addie could have done this ad by themselves, but we all know that brands prefer the family unit in the content. They pay more to have all the kids and mom and dad in the content. Do you think this is a loophole? Do you think content creators have figured out a way to still use their kids in content, still make them work in sponsored content, but just not show their face so everybody's okay with it because they're like, oh, they're not showing their face. They're not exploiting their kids. What are your thoughts on this? Go check out Hannah's diss track video here. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. I'll talk to you soon in the next video.